Alrighty, everybody. <clears throat> so I'm home now, and um, I got my uh, I got the games that I picked up from the uh, video game alley here that I just wanted to show off. This is kind of my take for the day. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go over these uh, real quick here. I'll just gonna I'm just gonna go down the stack here. Uh, this is in Japanese, but this is 3D Dot Game Heroes, which I didn't know was by FromSoft. That was kind of a surprise. Um, this is this is pretty expensive, uh, if I remember correctly. And I was able to get this for like uh, I want to say like twenty bucks, which was pretty, which is a really good deal. Um, it was sealed, so this is actually brand new. So this is like probably the best pickup that I got um, from my entire outing. 
Um, I guess the one problem I foresee is this is, uh, um, I, you know, like everything, the box, everything on the box is Korean, but I, I, I read through some of this and it says that <laughs> the, the language is in Japanese and then like the manual is in Korean. So I don't know um, how I'm gonna be able to play this. Uh, maybe if I don't have to read much, maybe I could just play the game uh, or I can uh, I can just emulate the English version if it emulates well. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but this is cool to have um, just because it's such a it's such a rare game to get. Like the English version uh, is quite expensive on eBay if I remember correctly. So this is probably like the the coolest pickup that I found um, from the video game alley. So I'm I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, whatever I decide to do with it, it's at least cool to have. That's pretty cool. That's probably the best pickup of the day. Um, this is what? <laughs> Mind Jack? I don't know what this game is. It sure looks generic. Um, which is a-okay with me. This sure looks like some, some trash that I would play. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I do see that in it is, uh, it, it has a English language option. So that's pretty cool. Uh, when you're buying games in Korea, you're kind of rolling the dice on whether it's gonna, on what language it's gonna be. Who knows? It might be Japanese with English, or it might be Japanese with Korean subtitles. It might just be in English. It might be in Korean. Who knows? You kind of roll the dice, though. Uh, but uh, to get games at like these kind of these these used games at pretty cheap prices is kind of what I'm in for. Uh, here's Army of Two: The Devil's Cartel. I think this is the third game. Um, I, I kind of forgot which Army of Two game I had, so I didn't go, like, buy them all. I realized after I got home that I actually have the first one, and this is the third one, so I actually probably have to go back sometime to get the second one, just so I can get the collection. This is a fun co-op game. Um, I, I'm kind of looking forward to playing this. I, I really enjoyed Army of Two series. It's better, way better with friends, but, um, I am totally willing to just play that by myself. <laughs> uh, this is Never Dead. <laughs> this is, um... This is a video game. Um... It, it is... It is mostly an, an okay action game with a pretty not okay Megadeth song. But, uh... I don't know. I just, I just had to pick it up. Because it's just, uh... It just seems like something that I would play. Uh, this is uh, one of the games that was actually on my hit list going in. This is Layer. This is like, I think this was like a launch window um, PS3 title. Uh, let's see, what language is this in? So the, the, the extraction manual is in Korean. Okay, so audio is in English, subs are in Korean. Okay, so that's, I can, I can totally play this. Uh, this game was probably a little bit overlooked at the time because it kind of ran bad. Um, and it was probably pretty short, but uh, this is made by uh, Factor Five, which uh, they they made like the Rogue Squadron games on N64 and a GameCube, and this plays a little bit like that, except you're on dragons. And I really loved those games, um, and I think this game is also pretty good. It's it's pretty underrated. It was like positioned as a really high profile PS3 exclusive kind of launch thing and it kind of fell short because it was a short game. It ran at 1080p but it kind of ran bad but they've since patched like a like a lower resolution option I think that runs better. I think that's probably the way to play it but I, I am looking forward to playing through this because this, I remember this being a pretty okay game by a pretty good studio. Um, this is, uh, this, I'm happy I found this. This is Dark Sector. Starring old old Johnny Dark Sector over here. Um, this game was in development hell for a really long time, and I'm now actually just noticing this game is sealed. I didn't know that I was buying a brand. New, I didn't know this is brand new. This is sealed. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is um, by the guys who did Warframe or the guys who would eventually go on to make Warframe. And so you'll see a lot of like, a lot of Warframe-ish designs in this game. I think his name, I think this guy's name is John Tenno, actually, which is like the race of the ninja robot 
dudes in uh, Warframe, so you kind of see a little bit of that Warframe DNA in this game. Uh, this isn't pretty okay, kind of a third-person Gears of War wannabe kind of a shooter. I'm looking forward to playing this. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, we were talking about this game uh, not that long ago on stream. This is Wet. A, another just kind of okay third-person shooter <laughs> published by Bethesda. Um, it is in English, so that's 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 good for me. I am looking forward to playing this. I remember this being pretty fun and trashy, uh, which is what I'm all about. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, speaking of trashy, well, no, this game's not. This game isn't trash. This game's pretty okay, actually. Dante's Inferno, EA's um, attempt at a God of War kind of a game. Kind of a, it's kind of a bandwagon game, you know, they're kind of chasing trends with this one, but it's actually pretty good. It's by Visceral, you know, the guys who did Dead Space, so they do quality. Um, again, for the price that I got these, I will go over the price for all of them uh, after I get through all these games. But for the price, I was like, okay, this is, this is totally worth it. This game is totally okay. You can't play it on any other console, really, except for the 7th gen consoles. So I figured this is, um, this is worth it. Uh, so yeah, I might, I might load this up sometime. Um, language check, what do we got here? Yay, it's in English. All right. Oh, subtitles and, um, audio in English. Just the instruction book is in Korean. That's weird. How are Koreans supposed to play this? They don't even have Korean subtitles. Like, what? It's so, the language options are so weird, man. It's just such a shit show. Like, there, there's no uniformity between any of the games. And then I have here, uh, my last one I got condemned to. Um, again, this is one that never came, this never came to PC. So the only way to play this is to play it on the 7th gen consoles. So I knew I had to pick this up. I have the first one on PC. I'm gonna probably stream it pretty soon here. Um, I like these games. These are fun, kind of brutal first person melee games where you just kind of beat up on hobos uh, with lead pipes. It's pretty sweet. This is not as good as the first game, but I, I wanted to get this because it's like, again, it's it's kind of exclusive to the 7th gen consoles. You can't play it on PC or anywhere else, really. So uh, I thought this was a pretty good um, a pretty good pickup. So, um, yeah, so most of these are secondhand, with the exception of old Johnny Dark Sector over here and 3D Dot Game Heroes. I think those were the two that were brand new. Um, these games... Uh, I, you know, I just, I had to kind of go through a bin to find these, and, um, like, as you saw in the video earlier, I, you, you'll see, you know, there's, like, shells and shells and shells of games, so I was just, I was there for hours, just kind of sifting through this stuff. Every, you know, like, most people go to these places to buy the new stuff, you know, PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, that, all that stuff is in the front. And I'm going in here, I'm like, okay, well, well, show me what you got in the back. I want to see your PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2 games. Uh, so uh, I, use, I tried my best to use Korean to kind of um, haggle these, these sellers down. And so the deal I ended up getting, uh, I was able to get all these games. Uh, I averaged about 10 to 15 bucks per game for each of these. The most expensive one here was probably this one, which was like 20 something, I think. Um, but the rest of them, I was able to average about 10 to 15, I'd say 10 to 15 bucks, which I think is pretty good. Um, uh, pretty good price for these. Uh, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. They, they kind of, they started me off pretty high, you know, they started me off at like 20 per game, but I was able to kind of haggle them down a little bit, kind of, you know, you can kind of, when you go to these places in Korea, you can kind of wheel and deal with these, these, these sellers, you know, if you, if you buy, if you say like, okay, well, uh, if I buy, let's say, all three of these from you, you know, will you give me, will you give me a knockoff or percentage off of all of them, if I, you know, if I buy like five, four or five games from you, so that's kind of what I did, I, I'd buy, oh, I'd buy a whole bunch of games from one seller and say, hey, Think you can give me a deal if I just buy all these right now? Pay cash. You don't have to report it. You can just you can just take the cash. You know, if they if they do card, they get charged. You know, surcharge for using a card. Then they have to report it. But if you do cash deal, they don't have to report that. They get more money for them, and then they can give me. They can pass on the savings to me. So you can kind of you can kind of wheel and deal when you're going to these little uh, these street vendors in Korea, which is what I did. But you got you got you kind of have to use Korean though. 
Um, so yeah, this is this is the take. I think it's pretty good. I'm probably I'll probably go back sometime to uh, to look for the other two games that I'm really looking for is the Army of Two, the second game, whatever that's called, and then the um, what was it? I think I think uh, W. I want a, I want a replacement for my WWE All Stars because my current one is borked. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can replace that. That's gonna be a hard one to find. But yeah, this is it. Um, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll um, I'll I'll try to make more of these kinds of videos uh, as I check out more uh, more game streets and see what other kind of garbage I can find. <laughs> All right, take it easy, guys.